Hi guys, welcome to the video. So today's gonna be a classic tutorial and I'm gonna be specifically incorporating this eyeliner. This is the Petal Metal Eyeliner from the Smashbox x Blatter Collection. And I'm also gonna be using the Tarte Be Mermaid and Make Waves eyeshadow, ooh, eyeshadow palette. So that's what we're gonna be doing and yeah. Let's get started. But before we get started, um, subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and click the notification bell because that is how you end up seeing my videos. Yes. First thing, can I just give like a product shout out to this highlighter right here? I know I talked about it and I know that I said I liked it, but I really like it. Like, let me just show you. I've been using it on my body. I just like grab a bunch on my fingers and like... I already had some on my shoulder, but it just is so, it's so pretty. I would highly, highly recommend this. So I think we're ready to start. Let's, let's go. First thing we're going to do is grab a concealer and a sponge and just totally create a blank canvas. You just want to cancel out any color. And then I'm just going to take a loose setting powder. This is from AOA Studio. This literally cost me $1. Tap some out on there. I'm just going to grab an eyeshadow brush and just set that concealer. Now I'm going to go into the Be A Mermaid and Make Waves eyeshadow palette. I'm going to go into Sandbar, that one right there. I'm just going to grab like a slightly tapered fluffy brush, go right in, and I'm just going to start deepening the crease with this. By the way, I totally forgot to mention in my intro, but this is a really good look for people with like hooded eyes or like small eyes. I do this when I really want them to look bigger. And we're really just gonna build this up. We want it super seamless, so I'm gonna go into Shore Thing. It's like slightly darker, and I'm just gonna deepen what we just did. We're gonna be cutting the crease pretty high for this look, so we definitely want the color to be pretty close to our brow. Now I'm gonna grab a much more tapered brush. It's much more precise, you see that? And I'm going to go into Shipwreck that like dark red color. I'm gonna go in then I'm definitely gonna tap off the excess and just really start deepening that and go on the outer corner too. We kind of want that nice little V shape and you can always just go back in with a clean brush and make it even more seamless so I do that a lot. Now we have it this far, just a really seamless fade. And now we're gonna grab our concealer. I, of course, have the Bare Minerals one. Where the fuck is my concealer brush? And I'm gonna do a cut crease, and I'm gonna be doing quite a dramatic one at that. Because I have smaller eyes, I'm not gonna start right at the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to start a little bit up. I'm just gonna start it. and go a little out like flick it out like that because i'm gonna have it meet with my winged liner blend it down okay i'm gonna go into my loose setting powder again shake some out of there and just set that real quick just don't want that bunching on you you know okay so that is set now we're gonna go into the be a mermaid and make waves eyeshadow palette you can definitely dupe this out with other stuff so if you don't have this palette don't despair but i'm gonna go into what is this lagoon i'm gonna go in with the tiny little densely packed brush and i'm gonna be going on the inner corner and the outer corner with this so start on the inner corner and on the outer portion i'm just gonna wipe off that same brush because like whatever and then i'm gonna go into splash it's like the more green shade in there and i'm gonna put that right on the edge of lagoon and on the inner corner of that too Okay, so now we are most of the way there i'm gonna go in with the nude beach and just pat that on the center now it's time for our rose gold highlighter actually okay i did this in the wrong order sorry ignore me ignore me ignore me okay we're actually gonna grab our felt tip liner this again i need to freaking get a new one of these it's almost dried out but we're going to create a wing first so do this how you normally do a wing but i'm basically gonna meet it up with the edge of that so in fact i might go a little bit past God, this liner is so fucking dry. Ugh. This is too dry to use, man. Um, mm. Okay, I'm gonna try to use my freaking pencil, but. And then I really want that blue to kind of meet with the tip, so I'm gonna go in with the tiny little concealer brush I just cleaned up right here and kind of meet it. 
God, that is so not the best wing I've ever done, but it doesn't matter, right? Okay, now we're at the fun part. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna shake it. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the excess off because I find that the applicator can sometimes like get too much of it on. And I'm just gonna trace that line really, really freaking carefully. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my wing, like the mistakes that I might've made. So I'm gonna just do that real quick. And I'm just gonna apply Nude Beach very, very liberally to the inner corner. And for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna grab a tightly packed brush, kind of flat, and I'm just gonna go into sandbar. It's kind of boring, but I'm just gonna smoke that out. And really get under that wing too. Okay, and then I'm gonna line my waterline. And then I'm gonna grab my new favorite Kush mascara. This stuff is freaking bomb, guys. I, uh, yeah, check it out. And I'm just gonna apply this as one normally would apply mascara. Okay. Okay, this is one eye complete. I really like it. I'm gonna go finish the other eye. I will be right back right now. Okay guys, this is the final look using the Petal Metal Highlighter and the Be A Mermaid and Wake. I can never fucking say that. I like it. I think it's mermaidy and pretty. It's not too dissimilar to the look I did in my original video for this, but it is a much sharper cut crease and it has some of the warmness incorporated in it too. So it's not like an all cool toned look, which I like. And I'm really, really happy about the use I found for this. I think it's so beautiful as a uh, what is this called? To really line that cut crease. I think it's so pretty. It just catches the light in cool ways. Also, I do have to mention, I think this specific eye look is super great for people with hooded eyes, with small eyes. I mean, certainly people with big eyelids, like go ahead and do this. Everything looks good on you, oh my lord. But for those of us with spatially challenged lids, going so far above our crease and really accentuating it with this kind of like halo style and making it look like it's just popping out, I think it's really, really flattering and just like a good thing to have in your repertoire. So let me know if you would like like a specific dedicated video to like aim towards people with small lids or hooded eyes because oh man, do I have that challenge. And I think I figured out at least a couple good ways to kind of deal with it. So just let me know if you'd like to see that. And I guess that's it, guys. Let me know if you like this look. And oh my goodness, if you happen to try it out, uh, I want to see pictures, please. You can just send them to my Instagram. I've had a couple people do that so far and it is so awesome. It is so fun to see what you guys create with my tutorials as the inspiration. It's so, so fun for me. Yeah. I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I will just see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.